the feast of Saint Anthony, a great saint, venerated all over the world. So at this moment, let us bring before the Lord all the people, those who are bearing the name Anthony, so that they may be blessed by God. And let us also intercede to this great saint, so that we have the blessings and protection of the saint in our life. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, I give you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come. Grant that we who call on your we who call on your on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. In those days, Elijah departed from Mount Horeb and found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen before him, and he was with the twelve. Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle upon him, and he left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, let me kiss my father and my mother, and then I will follow you. And he said to him, Go back again, for what have I done to you? And he returned from following him, and he took the yoke of oxen and slew them, and boiled their flesh with the yokes of the oxen, and gave it to the people, and they ate. Then he arose and went after Elijah and ministered to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. You yourself who secure my Lord. It, it is, is you, O Lord, who are my portion. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord before me always. With him at my right hand, I shall not be moved. It is you, you O Lord, who are my portion. And so my heart rejoices. My soul is glad. Even my flesh shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to hell, nor let your Holy One see corruption. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. I will stand for the gospel. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Praise be the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Praise be the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Saint Matthew, Glory to you, o Lord. Gospel of Saint Matthew, chapter five, verses thirty-three to thirty-seven. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, "Again, you have heard that it was said to the men of old, 'You shall not say falsely.' 
but shall perform to the Lord what you have sown. But I say to you, do not swear a thought, either by heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. Let what you say be simply yes or no. Anything more than this comes from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. and sisters, that my sacrifice and events may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as Saviour and Redeemer. Incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hand as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. and ended willingly in his passion. He took bread, 
and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Dumabal, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Lord, we pray for the people, those who offered this mass and all their intentions. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Surprise you what the Lord. 